Hi, this is Mark Witten, co-creator of Bloody Disgusting's The Hotel, and your lobby boy. For early access to ad-free episodes, monthly bonus episodes, and postcards, access to our behind-the-scenes podcast, We Made the Hotel, and to get your name in our guest book, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash the hotel. Thanks for listening. Barrow found himself in our hotel, checking in late at night, as most of our guests do. He came in out of the rain with a parcel under his arm, a potted plant wrapped in a sheet, him slick and wet, appearing like a wet cat drenching the floor of my lobby, his plant looking like a twisted ghost, slowly smothering under his arm. He had no luggage save a short bag with his overnights in them. A business trip, he said. My company had called ahead and booked my room. (laughs) He said. He didn't notice we have no phone. They never notice. I don't know what hotel Mr. Barrow was meant to be sleeping in that night. But if he's found his way into my lobby... Then, I'm sure he belongs with us. I checked him in, and had one of the bag boys take him to 215. He didn't tip. He laid out his wet clothes on the bed, leaving behind a moist imprint of his silhouette. Proof that he was here until it dries, leaving behind only a faint smell, as eventually we all do. He unwrapped his plant and set it on the window's edge, assuming in the morning the sun would shine on it, feeding it, warming it. Assuming the night would fade with sleep and he would see the sun again. He might. He might have if he still had his eyes. But he was hours away from an unrecognizable form. He twists his back until it pops. He cracks his arms out. He's been on the train to town all day, his plant in the seat next to him. Now the plant is on the window ledge, pulling away from the cold glass. Mr. Barrow opens the window so the rain can water it. Thick drops plat onto the sill, the carpet, the table nearby. I heard the pipes sputter and groan. The hotel is very old. Very, very old. If you close a door, the entire floor can hear you. If you take a shower, the entire building will know. Mr. Barrow was taking a shower. I sent the lobby boy up to close his window. When the lobby boy arrived, the floor around the window had a small, dirty pool of water growing wider and wider. The pot the plant stood in was a slurry of mud and rainwater. If I had not sent up the lobby boy, the plant would have drowned. Instead, as Mr. Barrow showered just a few feet away, completely unaware of the goings-on in his room, my lobby boy, faithful and knowing, pushed the plant out of the window and down into the alley. He closed it. He locked it, but he did not clean up the water. That is not his job. Hello? Said Mr. Barrow, twisting his neck to try and see around the corner of the open bathroom door. His plant was still falling. It may have already been drowned dead. Mr. Barrow leaned out of the bathtub. He could no longer hear the rain. 
through the bathroom doorway, he saw my lobby boy. He sees him. Maybe he screamed. Some people do when they see my good boy. But just then, right as Mr. Barrow saw the last thing he would ever see, his plant puciated on the pavement. Whatever the water was doing, it's surely dead now. Mr. Barrow tried to get out of the tub, tried to find out what was going on in his room. His feet were rooted to the porcelain ground. When he twisted his neck to check his legs, it didn't stop. Round and round, his neck twisted and toughened. His arms spiraled and hardened. If he didn't scream at the lobby boy, he is screaming now. But only for a moment. We work very quickly at the hotel. In no time at all, in the bathroom of room 215, was an impressive, very old tree. In some places, the branches looked a bit like broken hands, reaching out for... something. The bark, if you squinted just so, looked like a screaming face. Short, mossy hair grew along the knotted top. It looked like the tree had been here for a hundred years. But really, it sprouted up in about the amount of time it takes for a potted plant to fall from the third floor to the ground below. Another room occupied. Another guest taken care of. But we have plenty of rooms left at the hotel. The hotel was created and produced by Travis McMaster and Mark Witten, starring Kelly Ninaltowski as the manager, Mark Witten as the lobby boy, Graham Rowett as the owner, and Krista Lewis. Music by Lauren Picorni, West Rodri, and special guest composer Zach Tatum Drake. <laughs>